This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. The Content Creator Beta Server is temporarily made available for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to take a first look at Red Goblin. Uh, if you want a more in-depth look at this champion, there is a deep dive Dorky Diggity Dave does for Kabam that goes a little bit more in detail of this champion, but we're going to look at him together. So Red Guardian is the latest champion to enter the contest. I took him to rank three, Sig 200. Uh, that's a level that I think a lot of people, if they get him, will be able to get him to rather quickly. So let's take a look at his attributes here. All right, and let's take a look over here. Now, one thing that I see that I like, all the way down at the bottom, he has armor rating and a nice block proficiency. 69% block proficiency is pretty good. That means he's gonna be taking less block damage than some other champions that have much lower block proficiency. I like it, I like it. All right, now let's take a look at his synergies. Now, what I like to do with the synergies is to look not just what the synergy does, but who the synergy is with. Because if it's a decent synergy, but it's with a champion that you really aren't going to bring with you, um, or you don't want to bring with you because they're pretty much a dud, then that affects the uh, worth of the synergy, in my opinion. So this first one uh, is with Carnage and OG green goblin all right now i can see bringing carnage but not so much green goblin but this synergy is with both of them so fairly decent now with this synergy red goblin gains one bloodlust the first time red goblin wins a fight in a quest more on that later all right, Family Feud, cute, Venom, Carnage, you get it. Uh, you lose one less bloodlust when defeated. Now, when we talk about this, when we look over the uh, abilities, remember this one, and that you lose one less when defeated, okay? You got this one here. Now, this one is actually pretty interesting, not because of what... It does for Red Goblin, which is pretty good. While Frenzy is active, increase buff duration by 30%. That's actually really good. But look at what it does for Symbiote Spider-Man. Normally when I'm doing these synergy bonuses, I don't go into what the synergies do for the synergy partners. Rather, I focus on the champion that we're dealing with. But this is an actually really good synergy with Spider-Man Symbiote. Uh, I would love to play around with that synergy if I have some time. Uh, I may do just that. All right, but let's keep going because this is about Red Goblin. Uh, and if I ever say Red Guardian, you'll understand. Slip of the tongue. Red Guardian or Green Goblin. Well, this is Red Goblin. All right, so the next one, while Frenzy is active, Fury and Energize buffs have 15% increased potency. But it's with Iron Patriot. Yeah. Now, this one is also a very good synergy for the synergy partner. Look at what it does for Iron Patriot. Arc Overload grants a Fury buff, increasing attack rating by 300% for 30 seconds. No longer burns out Iron Patriot's suit and can be reactivated after a 60 second cooldown. If Kabam were to buff Iron Patriot, this is what I would like to see them uh, do for him. So that, I definitely wanna play around with that one to see how that works out. But both of these two synergies here make their synergy partners beastly, at least on paper. All right, now this one here is a fun one. Everyone in this synergy relationship is a decent champion. 
Each symbiote on the team grants 15% increased critical damage rating. So you can bring a full team. And if you are still needing to do variant five, Red Goblin, if you get him, is a good option to bring into variant five. And you can bring along these guys here uh, and they all meet the requirements for uh, variant five. And finally, 6% more attack. Not as flashy as the other ones that we were just looking at, but you've got Stealth Spidey, um, and you've got uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Now, OG Spider-Man probably would not be bringing him, but these other two are solid. These are uh, definitely solid champions uh, to be on your team anyway. So not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's take a look over here at his abilities. So his signature ability, while Frenzy is active, and we will talk about Frenzy, special attacks generate one symbiote buff with 35% reduced potency. Uh, and we will talk about that. Now his abilities, his passives, he has uh, full immunity to incinerate, and power burn so he has a little um utility here uh red goblin symbiote reduces ability accuracy of passive evade abilities for spider verse champions by 100 percent. so that makes him like venom when he's going up against spider-man spider-man stark enhanced symbiote spider-man all of them that have that spider verse tag they're most likely not going to evade. And the reason I say most likely, there's a reason that they list this as reducing it by 100%, because your opponent can be on a node that increases their abilities by, say, another 50%. So if that's the case, the way that Kabam does that most of the time, it would mean that they could still evade him but they would evade him if it was like a 150%, it bumped it up. They would still evade 50% of the time. So just keep that in mind. And that works with a lot of their uh, calculations. When you see it's reducing it by 100%, you may wonder, why don't you just say it shuts it down completely? That's because unless it's modified, it does. But if it's modified, it may not. All right, so persistent bloodlust. We talked about those bloodlusts. After winning a fight, gain one bloodlust for the remainder of the quest. If defeating a Spider-Verse champion, gain another bloodlust. So you'll gain two and you have a maximum of five. And these persist for the entire quest. Lose one bloodlust when defeated. Now, remember I told you when we were looking at those synergies to remember that one. So you lose one less bloodlust when defeated if you have that synergy. One bloodlust minus one bloodlust equals, all right. Now here's that frenzy that you hear about. While the opponent has less than 15% health remaining, activate frenzy. Now this is not the only way you can activate frenzy, but this is an automatic activation of frenzy. Each bloodlust increases this threshold by a flat 10%, reaching 65% at max bloodlust. And remember, those bloodlusts are persistent. Frenzy also triggers a true sense buff, bypassing the effects of Miss, ah, uh, ghost, they're after you, girl, uh, and auto block. So that makes him really good against ghost against Iron Man Infinity War, against MODOK, um, I believe also against maybe Nova, uh, anyone that has an auto-block mechanic. Even Thor Ragnarok has an auto-block mechanic. Uh, now, you're going to gain attack rating for each bloodlust. Now, each stack suffers from 15% reduced potency. So basically, this frenzy does a, a, a number of things. And you see how it can be activated automatically when they have 15% health remaining or less. Um, and I believe that's just less because it doesn't say 
15% or less. So I'm assuming that it's at 14.999% health is when it kicks in. Uh, something to just kind of uh, watch for. Uh, not that it makes too much of a difference. Special activation. So this is when you activate your specials. Activating special attacks creates a buff based on the last attack launched. These buffs last for 15 seconds, but they start paused. Buffs are unpaused the next time one of them is triggered. So it's going to last between a special attacks if you do the same one. That's my understanding. So if you do a medium, light, 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 fire off a special, you're going to get this energized buff, which grants you 25% combat power rate. Aptitudes, and we'll talk about aptitudes in a minute, uh, increase the potency of these energized buffs by 75%. So you have the potential to gain quite a bit of power. How much? That's something that we need to play around with uh, with a Red Goblin. Now, if you ended your attack on a medium and fired the special, you're going to get a Fury buff that increases your attack rating. And if you did a heavy attack, you're going to gain aptitude, granting 120% increased Fury, Precision, and Armor Up potency. So remember that... Uh, these buffs will last until the buff is activated again. So you can do a heavy attack, fire off a special, and then the next time end on, say, a light attack, fire a special. Now you have that aptitude, which will increase your power rate, combat power rate. So he's got a little bit of... um complexity to him or flexibility in uh, your buffs and how you can uh, play this guy uh, based on what you need at the time. Very interesting. So now we've got these Carnage Bombs and these apply to the Heavy Attacks and Special 2 attack. Each Energize buff, and we just talked about that Energize buff, inflicts a power drain, draining 10% max power over 15 seconds. So he has some power control to him. This guy has a lot of utility and flexibility. I am liking this. Each fury buff inflicts uh, armor break. <laughs> Each fury buff inflicts inflicts armor break. Interesting. Reducing armor by 500 for 15 seconds. All other buffs inflict incinerate, dealing energy damage over 15 seconds. Incinerate also prevents perfect block and reduces block proficiency by 50%. That is what incinerates do, by the way. Uh, if you look at the kit for Human Torch, and I believe also Sunspot, you'll see anytime uh, in, uh, incinerate is mentioned, this is the effect incinerate has on uh, your opponent. All right. Uh, heavy attacks. Carnage Bomb debuffs inflicted by this attack have 65% reduced duration. All right. Now, let's talk about his special attacks. So, special attack one. Symbiote attacks all five hits deal a burst of direct damage equal to 100% damage dealt. Potency increased by 100% for each unique debuff on the opponent. So, if you debuff your opponent and fire this special one off, you are going to be doing a lot more damage. So uh, if you're fighting someone, uh, and this is my understanding, if you're fighting someone that's running suicides, for example, your special one attack is going to do a lot more damage than if they weren't. And then, of course, you have your own way of putting debuffs on them. Uh, and your special attack one does a shrapnel blast which is an incinerate dealing energy damage over 20 seconds. Special attack two, those are the uh, carnage bombs we talked about earlier, inflicts carnage bomb debuffs, all right? Um, and we talked about those. Afterburner, all three hits deal a burst of energy damage. Nasty. And finally, special attack three, activate frenzy for 30 seconds. So I told you that there's more than one way to activate the frenzy 
All right, you have the automatic one where if they go below 15% health, it's activated, but you can also activate it with a special attack three for 30 seconds. All right, and while they are under that 15%, I didn't mention this when we were talking about it, uh, your frenzy will be active. But the reason it says it that way is because you might be fighting someone that can heal. So if they go below 15%, you got frenzy and you have your buff. But if they heal up and they're no longer below 15%, the buff gets removed. Okay? Um, your special attack three also inflicts seven random carnage bomb debuffs with 50% increased duration. So we're going to take a look at each of the special attacks uh, in a moment here. So hold on and let's have some fun. All right, let's see what this guy can do. Uh, you'll notice the team that I'm going in here with. I decided to fill it up with some symbiote um, champions. So he's got a lot of uh, extra crit. Let's take a look real quick here so you can see. All right, so he's got that one, but I wasn't really concerned with that one. It was this one here, the symbiote consciousness, and of course, uh, the extra attack. All right, so let's go ahead and get this winner soldier and this is the first time that i am using this guy so bear with me what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a look at his specials uh heavy attack uh admire his animations because they look pretty cool look at that block animation is pretty cool all right that looks pretty nice uh we'll build up to a special one first uh, this is not, you know, the best way to play him or anything like that. Just to show you guys the uh, specials here. All right? Special one. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so let's uh, build up to a special two. All right. And I am running suicides. And I don't believe this guy is suicide friendly. He doesn't look suicide friendly to me. All right, so here's the special two. Woo! All right. And remember that it does more damage. Uh, the debuffs, more debuffs, unique debuffs you have on. Uh, but we're not concerned with that right now. We just want to showcase the um, animations. So now, let me do a quick heavy attack. Okay. That looks similar to um, a Green Goblin. All right. So we'll build up to a special three. All right. Let's bait that out real quick for no reason. Because we can. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Okay. That was pretty sweet right there, man. And we've got that frenzy active, and look at the damage. Not bad for a rank three. And of course, I'm not using him anywhere near what he could be. And I want to build up to a special two real quick. Come on, before they give out. It's not bad damage right there. See if we can build up to a special two again. Now, I can see why you might want to do, let me see, do the special one. Okay. Yeah, I can see why you might want to do the um, power rate gain. And you can see I did that. So I'm gaining power a lot faster. Let's hit him with that special two. That's some nice damage. That is some nice damage, and this is at a rank three. 
Uh, so we will be taking him up to the rank five and uh, testing him out there. Let's see another special two. Okay. Whoopsie. I'll rush right into that. Too busy looking up at the uh, debuffs and, and whatnot. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I want him so badly that I will grind for him, but he looks like he's a pretty cool champion. So I've got that power gain buff up right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I can see where you might want to get the power gain and that'll help you you know, get to your specials faster while those um, debuffs are active. Yep, we still have it up. Yeah, this Winter Soldier definitely will do everything he can to keep you from being able to get it, but we got him. Look at this. Oh, oh. Woo. Lots of damage. And I still have that power game buff up, so let's uh, end with a medium, and then the special two. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's uh. Build up to a special three. Although we might not be able to make it to a special three. Looks like he's about to go. Yep. Never made it to the special three. Not bad. Uh, I can't tell you what the best way to play him is right now. Because uh, we're just playing around with him for the first time. But uh, I like him. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool looking. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rank him up, max him out, and then we're going to go back in here, and you'll be able to see what kind of damage uh, he can do maxed out. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, we are back, and we're going to dive in. I've already taken him up to rank 565. Um, let's take a look at him real quick before we uh, start the fight so you can see what he looks like all maxed out. All right, so see his health, switch over here. Now he's got block proficiency of 70%, so it went up 1% there. Uh, armor rating went up a couple. Very, very nice, very nice um, increase there. All right, so let's dive in here and I'm gonna try something with him. I don't know the best way to play him, all right? But I'm gonna try to get some of the uh, buffs up. So one of the things that I wanna do, I wanna get the, um, the uh, energized buff up. And the aptitudes that you get from the heavy attack ending like that, should increase it so now I'm gonna do a light and then a special all right so now I have the energize uh, buff up as you see okay all right and then I can do a medium and a special. Here we go. And now I got the Fury up. Now let's look at what his damage looks like. Critting like crazy because of the uh, synergies. But look at the power rate. Power rate is pretty good. Woo! Look at that damage right there. That is some sweet stuff, man. Now I lost my um, Energize. 
But we're gonna get it back right there. Okay. Fury is going now. So let's try and uh, medium, medium, just to make sure I got the medium attack off. We still got our energized, but it's going. See that little power drain that he, that, um, he has right there? Okay, ended in a medium again. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm pretty sure that I'm not playing him properly. But I see some potential. I see a lot of potential. Okay, he's under uh, 15%. So Frenzy is active. Let's do a heavy. Interrupt it with a special. And he is down. That is sweet. Uh, I like him. I like him. I don't believe he's suicide friendly, but he's a pretty good champion. Um, so that's going to do it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about Red Goblin. Hope I haven't called him Red Guardian uh, too often. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this Red Goblin. I like him. I think he's a pretty interesting champion, and I think uh, he has a lot of versatility. And even though he's not suicide friendly, he has a lot of versatility, a lot of utility. Um, his damage does not look bad, and I'm probably not using him to the best of his abilities. And even so, I like him, and I think he is a pretty cool champion to pick up. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and what do you think about Red Goblin. And you all have a blessed day.